You know how you have those moments when you know life is about to really bound up, like really in a very positive, like change is on its way. This is one of those mornings. Like this is one of those mornings. It's 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 a shoot back to the videos where I'm talking about the internal fight that should really be going on versus fighting the world, the rage against um so many things that um you know were important when they were really um probably cutting edge and coming out and people were really doing that work. But now with the different age that there we are in as um human beings on this planet and the places we're supposed to go and and sitting at, like digging in and and sticking it out and really like working on um self and fighting to have the existence that I really want to have I feel like a major shift this morning. I mean, major. And I think that this is like a pivotal point. And I've seen these pivotal points before in my life. And they always come before the big thing. Whatever it is that I'm going after. Every single time. And when the big thing gets here, it's anticlimactic. It's not even that big. It's not. It's like, it's like bloop on, on the, the screen. But this feeling... That comes just before this. It's like, oh my God. It's like that. And you really feel it. Like, it's like really inside of you. You trust the process. You know what's really happening. You're aware of what's happening. And nobody around you. Like, I remember one time. It was a job. Like, I was going for this job. And I walked into, like, two interviews and uh, I think one day or maybe two days. And the second interview, I was like, I knew I got it. And the manager who I was interviewing with knew I knew I got it. And she tried, well, we, we didn't say that you have it yet. And I was just like, yeah, whatever. I got it. Right? <laughs> I just knew. I came out of the interview pumped, stoked. I was on fire. Okay. And I got it. You know what I mean? I knew it. It was like, what? I knew it. And like like she tried to say, I couldn't really explain to anyone I knew that I got it, but I knew I had it because the offer had not come out. Nothing. It's, it was, it's like a click when you're undoing a lock or a vault or something like that. I just knew, right? And... When the job finally was offered to me, it was probably like two weeks later, and it was about paperwork. We were in a Mercury retrograde, like right now, but we were at the end of it, right? So we had been in that Mercury retrograde for a minute, and I interviewed during the Mercury retrograde, which made sense because it was like something I had been working on for a time, and finally, here it is, it's here, um... Uh, I interview. I knew I had it. Oh my God, I so knew. Oh, I, I I can't even break down to you how I knew. I just it was in here like this feeling I got right now this morning. I'm telling you something pew, took off, and I don't know what it is. I can't wait to see what it is. I'm working on so many things right now, so it's just like ah, right. Um, but that time with the interview, like I said, it was a Mercury retrograde and then paperwork had to go in. And they were like, Mira, we're trying to get your paperwork in. Oh, my God. This won't happen. This one. And I remember going, it's okay. You know, we were coming out of Mercury retrograde on like in my, maybe three more days. And I remember that day t pivotally being the 29th of what month I could not tell you because it's so long ago. But I remember it. I was like, well, we can really come out of it. It'll, it'll fix on such and such and so and so day. And I said it like three days later. So I can't tell you if it was even a month that ended with 31 days or 30. I know it was definitely not in February because it was not a leap year. Hmm. But it did. I signed the paperwork and the job was mine. But the job was mine when I knew I had the job. I knew it. 
I mean, baby, and the work I did that year. Oh, my God. I can tell. I think I still have. I do. Have some of the journals I was using. Because I'm a journaling person. I believe in journaling, writing down thoughts, and switching my vibration, my vibe stream that I'm in via writing. I have seen myself jump from place to place to place with all my journals. I don't have all my journals anymore, but some of them I was fortunate enough to be able to keep. And you can see it. I start off with timid, nice writing that's in between the lines. It looks very legible. And by the end of the book, I, it looks like a crazy person is writing in the book. But I'm on that high of a vibe. You understand what I mean? And there were different goals I was achieving that year. It was a car. It was a raise. It was numerous raises. It was a, it was a, The raises were, I was a contractor. And I really, really wanted to get that contractor money. And the crazy thing about it, I was like, well, you know, you want the, you want the benefits. You want this. You want that. Because contractors, you just work, honey. You work. You work. You're going to always be working. But... I wanted the permanent full-time job. So, I got it. Like, there was so much happening that year. And I could see it. I could see in my books the shift I was going through. The changes that were happening in my life. And when I say in my life, I mean inside of me. In my cosmos, my inner cosmos, my inner world was changing so much. So that I could really be who I was, you know what I mean? And that's, that, that's forever inside of me. I will always know that you can write, you can write yourself into anything you want. You can literally, they call it scripting, I think, in, in the Abraham crew. I just call it journaling, you know what I mean? Write down what it is that you really want and you will really get it, but not just write it down. Like You gotta see yourself in it. And I, I just saw myself in it with all the writing I was doing, all the, I was writing everywhere. I was on numerous buses. I'd be writing from the time I got on the bus to the time I got off the shuttle to walk into the office. I'd be at the office desk doing everything and writing. Like, it was just, it was my more important job than anything else. Now, um, it's a huge part of what I do. Back then, I spent more time picking out journals. I mean, I will go to the different bookstores and find a little sale area and get the journal so I'd be ready to go with the next journal and the next journal. Now, of course, we don't move forward, honey. It is a composition book out this bad boy. Nobody worrying about no journal now. It's just getting the words out. And I'm in the middle of two journals right now. And I'm telling you, a shift It is it's here as of this morning. It is here. So, I thought I'd share. Bye. Love